Hey everyone, I'm Ruth. Welcome back to another video. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how I draw and paint a kingfisher with watercolor pencils. I'll be using my Caran d'Ache Supracolor pencils for this and I'll show you all my techniques how to draw and paint this kingfisher. So let's get right into the tutorial. I start by taping my paper to the surface and then I pre-wet my background with water. I mix some green and yellow on my palette and apply that to the background. When I'm happy with how this looks, I sprinkle some salt onto the background. And that salt gives a really nice effect. I add another layer of paint to my background to soften this look the salt gave it. And when my background is dry, I go in with my watercolor pencils for the first layer. And I draw with a very light hand. No pressure at all on my pencils and apply my first layer of watercolor pencil to the head of this kingfisher. I use various shades of blue, turquoise, orange, black and some red as well to create this realistic looking feathers on the head of the kingfisher. And at this point I'm not yet really paying attention to detail, I'm just drawing in the basic shapes and colors. And then I go in with my paintbrush with some water on it and Really pay attention that you're not using too much water because if you use too much water you'll pick up all of the pigment and you don't want that. So just a little bit of water on your brush and go over the pencil. When that has dried I go in with my pencils for another layer and I use a ceramic knife to make some details on the head. And that is called a slice tool. So another layer of pencil to the head of the kingfisher and this time I'm really drawing in all the tiny details and really paying attention to the direction that the feathers are growing in. And then I go in with my paintbrush again, again little water and going over the pencil. And now you can see me creating highlights with the slice tool. It's really easy to achieve this with this tool. Just scraping away some of the pigment, creating all these tiny highlights in the feathers. And again another layer of pencil, creating that really realistic look by adding various layers, starting with a very light hand and as I go putting more pressure on the pencil with each layer and creating all these tiny little details as well. some more shadow and some more highlights as well. So on to the next section again. First a layer of watercolor pencil 
then going over it with my paintbrush with a little water on it. And on to the feathers on his chest. Adding a light layer of pencil, orange and yellow, various shades of orange and yellow. Trying to create this realistic looking feathers here as well. And then going over it with my paintbrush with a little water on it to blend it all together. So on to the next section, repeating the process again. And the second layer on the chest. onto the wings. On the wings there are really tiny little details, a lot of detail here. So I already threw in some detail with the first layer. If you want to see more of my artwork and learn how to paint and draw yourself, you can head over to my Patreon page. I'll put the link down in the description box. Here you'll find a lot of in-depth tutorials, real-time videos, reference photos to print out for your own artwork, tips and tricks videos, art materials, and a lot more. So, I hope to meet you there. I'm already adding details here on the first layer, as I said before. So later on, I can clearly see where all the detail has to go really paying attention to the direction that the feathers are going in to create this really realistic look. And I am working from light to dark here, but it is good to mention that it is possible with these pencils to work from dark to light as well. I can add white on top of my darker layers. That is really nice with these watercolor pencils. And also with this slice tool, because you can scratch off some of the pigment, you're able to add lighter colors later on as well. So I'm drawing in some detail already. And all the shadows. So I can really see where all the feathers have to be drawn in. Going over it again with my brush, again with a little water on it, really important, not too much water, because not only will you pick up a lot of pigment if you use too much water, but you will also smudge your drawing when using too much water, so you really don't want to do that. So when that layer has dried, I start with my next layer and it's good to mention that in between each layer I let the pencil dry completely because if I go in when the layer is still a little damp it's not possible to add fine details. You'll also smudge your drawing. So I'm adding the shadows here to the feathers and drawing in the little claw, the paw of the kingfisher with a dark orange and then again using my water to blend everything out and as you can see when using the water the colors really come to life. They become really vibrant by adding the water. So another layer when the water has dried and using the slice tool again to pull off some pigment and scraping off some pigment and adding some details there. And again I brush with some water. And another layer of pencil. Adding some more shadow.
really paying attention to the direction that the feathers are growing in. Adding some highlights and some shadows again. Just keep layering until you're really happy with the result. And as I said before, patience is key here. Adding a lot of layers creates a lot of depth and realism to your drawing or painting. So on to the branch that the kingfisher is sitting on. Just adding a light layer of a brown color and some detail and then blending it out with my paintbrush with water on it. And when I'm letting that dry, I draw in some more detail on the bird. And here I noticed that everything has to be darkened up a little bit. So I add another layer of pencil. And adding more shadows. And again going in with my water. To make the colors really vibrant. And here you see me using my Posca pen. It's a white acrylic marker. And I add some more highlights with that. And softening these highlights with my blue pencil. And another layer on the branch that the Kingfisher is sitting on. Some shadow. And also some more shadow on the Kingfisher as well. Adding some final detail, some shadow and highlights as well. And then I'm ready to take off the tape. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to get informed when a new video comes out. You can leave a comment down below and don't forget to share my video with all your friends. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you! Bye!